In today's screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a label and using an existing database, merge those database fields onto the label. Now this is one of the most useful features within P-Touch Editor and it's probably one of the features which people use the least and it can in fact save you hours and hours of time. Uh, the example we're going to use today is um, a label which perhaps we could use in our warehouse for labeling up new racking or when new stock comes in. So I'm first of all going to create a new layout and in this case I think if we go for a 62 by 100 mil label that's a, a pretty good size for a shelf edge. So if we click on OK that brings our label in. So the first thing we've now got to do is actually go to file and go to database and connect to our database. Now pretty straightforward your database can be picked up from a local drive or a network drive depending on how you've got everything set up um, it could be on your desktop, it could be on a CD, whatever. So first of all we browse, we find our Excel spreadsheet in this case but you can see down here um, it will connect to sort of most common data store files and once we click OK it's then just a case of following the wizard through click on next and we can see that we've got the various pages within the Excel worksheet so in this case we'll choose Minimark um, click on next and what you get down the bottom here is a display of the fields within that Excel spreadsheet it really really couldn't be any easier than this because all you do now to position your fields on the label is grab the heading and just drag that over and either drop it onto your label as text or as a barcode. So you simply repeat that with all the fields that you want. Okay, really simple. Now what we can do, we can add in some of our own text if we want to because this will become the static information. So in this case we'll add in the brand. Now I'm going to drop the size of that down so just highlight and we'll choose perhaps 24 point that's still a bit big so that's fine down to 16 point okay so we'll have our brand and in this case the brand is Brady so it's a Brady product the part number okay and then the description down here um, we'll leave it as it is for the moment and what we'll do is we'll just put our own description here Again, we'll just actually reduce that font size down to 14 point. Okay, now obviously you can pick up each individual field and just tidy that label up, but for the purpose of just demonstrating this, I'm just going to show you very quickly. And in fact, we'll just put the word part number above there. Okay. So what we've got now is three static fields and three variable fields the variable field being brand, part number and the description. And What you can do is if you go to file and print preview you get a preview of your label and at the top here you've now just got the forward button so you can actually scroll through and just actually preview your labels so this totally just shows you what you would get on your print run and that is basically it very very simple very quick very easy and one of the most underused functions within the p-touch editor software but possibly one of the functions that will save you the most amount of time